Hey guys, Josh here. Um, I'm gonna do some 30 second portrait sketches today. Just using some charcoal on this. Uh, let's pick out a piece. I just filled this thing up yesterday. We'll pick out like a really large. Huh? We'll break this one in half. This looks like a 4B, which is good. That's the dark. Um, break that. Hmm. We'll go with, uh, this piece is easier to grab, so we'll do that. It's a brand new piece of charcoal. We're gonna do 30 seconds, and I'm gonna have my references pulled up right here. Let's see, maybe I can do it a little higher. Oh gosh, there we go. All right. It's falling off, okay, we got it there. So I'll start the timer when I pick a reference. I, I do this for a few reasons. I do these 30 second portrait sketches for a few reasons. Um, one is to loosen myself up while I'm working, and so I'm not drawing so tight, so worried, and and um, and then I want the really like the creativity and the expression through to show through. Also to recognize um, shapes, patterns, and and um, values and proportions faster and more accurately. Um, it's it's a good way of of practicing that. So I kind of just pick. This is my Pinterest folder of references. Um, and I kind of just put whatever I find that I like there so I could sketch with it. Um, I don't try to copy it exactly, but I do think that, um, that it's fun to utilize um, images, especially like for magazines or whatever you can find to be able to practice drawing quickly, effectively, and, and loosen up and then train your brain to be able to recognize these things so you can have more successful real artworks um, these can be considered real artworks as well, but they're not as valuable, I would say, as like a large painting or something like that. But I still have fun doing it. I do this, I try to do this before every single art time I draw, which is most days, or, or make art. Um, it's a good way of, like a warm up, right? So here we go, let's get into it. I'm gonna use this reference here. It doesn't let me zoom in on this one specifically. I'm not sure why, but we'll just have it right there. Um, so you guys can see the reference while I draw. And we'll start the 30 second timer. Flip back and go for it until the 30 second timer comes up. Ready, set, here we go. I like to start with where the eyes are. That way, get an idea of where everything else goes. Besides that, there's like an angle here of eyes, right? Darkness a little bit. If I squint, see that there's like a little bit of darkness there where the mouth is. Looks like the nose is a little too low. Some shadow shapes there. Shadow there, kind of drop shoulder to there, and that's time. Cool. Um, I'm not very happy with it, but it's it's a start. So let's see. This is 14 by 17 Strathmore drawing paper. So let's rip that one off. We can always work on these later if we want to. Um, if you like how they come out, or if you don't like how they come out, you could draw some more on them. Um, let's try to get a different angle here this time. A little bit different. This is good. Um, cool. This is a nice angle here because you're looking the other way. Um, it's black and white, which kind of helps with the drawing process to recognize things a little quicker. Here we go. Ready, set. Eyes. Oops, wasting some time here. Eye there. These angles, I'm trying to get these angles down. I'm not too concerned with the outline of the head at the moment, but just the bigger shadow shapes. Keep working until the time comes up. It's 30 seconds is really short and it'll go by super fast. So see, just like that, I'd, I'd probably finish at the neck there, just kind of some more direction. Kind of like that one. Okay. Let's try one with more line in it this time. Less, uh, more line, less. It's a similar angle, but I like this one right here. We're gonna ignore the hand because um, we don't have time for that. <laughs> that was like the edge of it, and then you can see that I'm using more so uh, value to draw that one. Now let's go for a line here and see what we can accomplish through this. This thing is bouncing on here while I draw a little bit. You can accomplish this with a pencil, a piece of chunk of charcoal, or even a different material if you'd like. I just find that charcoal is very, um, like you utilize it well in this style. Um, it's very efficient to make marks. It can kind of alter the way you're drawing. Oh, not Spotify. 
Here we go. You guys ready? And we're going. Big shapes. Big angles, right? Kind of like a the mouth there. The big shapes, the big shadows and shapes are usually like where the eyes are, the edge of the face, the top lip, bottom lip shadow, depending on where the lighting's coming from, right? But usually this is the case. And then you've got like where the chin is, um, the eye sockets, edges of the face, or edges of the head, right? Or where the hair line is and all that. And you've got your neck and your shoulder. There we go. And so I didn't really put in any value on this piece. Um, see, and like, if I were to continue with the drawing, what I'd do is I'd just, I've got a nice gesture here and I could just add these shadow shapes guided by the marks that I have made this quickly. Just, there needs to be some more darkness down here, clearly. I'm squinting while I'm looking at the reference still. Now we'll take a, a blending stump, kind of make sure that that's all grayed out, nice mid-tone going on here somewhere. Not too worried about the shadow details, more so concerned about where the light's hitting. Now take a an needed eraser. Um, start popping out some highlights there where things go. Not worried about the details once again. And a little bit of an eyelid there. You want those details to kind of pop out a little bit where uh, where you want the focal point to be, but kind of ignore the rest of the details, kind of give it some life that way. Like here in the eyelid and lips and whatnot. And it's, it's, it's a decent start for a drawing. Pretty cool. Um, well, obviously more than 30 seconds, but the gesture was 30 seconds and you can kind of change your time. If, if 30 seconds is too fast for you, try three minutes and then kind of go down from there. See how it goes. Look, another cool angle right here. Um, let's see if we could do this one a little bit faster. Kind of, I'm gonna break this little thinner piece. Let's try a thinner piece, see how it goes from there. Ready, set, start. Eye line, top of the head angle. It doesn't have to be this exact um, order but it's important to work big to small. So you're looking at those bigger shapes first, bigger angles, important landmarks on the face. And then that'll allow you to kind of work a little bit smaller once you kind of have an idea of where everything is. And time again, wow, that's really fast. Um, kind of decent idea of where everything is. Not, um, that's probably one of the, the ones that didn't um, come out as as nicely and as quick as I anticipate, um, but that's okay. Let's try a different one. I think that piece of charcoal wasn't the greatest for that. Um, oh, very extreme angle, very, very extreme angle. Let's do that. That's a challenge for sure. Looking straight up, look at all that foreshortening. If you don't do this right, it's gonna look weird really quick. So let's see what happens. Um, that'll be fun. 30 seconds for that, oh gosh. This is out of my comfort zone for sure. Ready, here we go. Eye there, nose here, eye there, top of the head there, lips. I'm trying to see these angles. Bottom lip shadow. Here we go. The ears right there. The facial shape is about there. And we've got the neck. A little bit of shadow here just so that it doesn't look so weird. Not too bad, it could be a lot worse. Maybe a little bit more detail in the nose. And See, not too bad, not too bad. Um, still looks weird. It'd have to use a lot of refinement, refining. Um, but pretty fun, pretty good exercise. We'll do one more. I like this angle too, I like these values going on here. I'm not gonna really worry too much about the, the shadow shape here. I'm gonna try to treat it as if it's all lit up decently, which most of it is, um, just because it'll get confusing at, at speeds. If I did like a finished drawing on that, I'd, I'd very much consider um, those shadow shapes, those outside shadow shapes here. Um, last 30 second portrait sketch. Let's give a little bit more effort on this one. Here we go. 
Keep it fast, keep it loose, use your shoulder, not your wrist. Here we go. Trying to recognize those big shadow shapes. Don't worry about the details. Worry about those angles, those proportions, and the value changes. We got the bottom shadow there. A little bit of hints of where these angles are. There we go. Going over time because this is a cool piece. We'll finish this one up just a little bit and then we'll call it a day. But yeah, that's so I, um, that's how I usually warm up. I think it's fun because it's challenging. It's a little bit unnatural to draw this quickly, but it makes your mind work efficiently by ignoring all of those little grimy details that will kill your drawing unless they are treated with um, some patience at the end, not towards the beginning of the drawing. Um, there's obviously a ton of mistakes in these sketches, which kind of make it human, which I enjoy, but the more you practice, the less mistakes you'll have and the more fun you'll have with this. It's still fun, but it'll really help you grow as an artist, I found for me personally, especially like in life drawing, you do those like super fast timed portraits um, or sort of um, figure drawings and, and gestures. Things along those lines are really what helped me grow the most. Um, let's see if we can ignore part of this face, but then treat the focal point nicely. Oh man, that's wrong. There we go. See, the shadow should be way up here. But if you guys like my work, check out uh, madcharcoal.com slash shop. Click the link in any of my social bios. It'll take you to my shop where you can buy my art. You can uh, learn some more by buying my art course um, or merch or anything like that. Or Follow me on Instagram if you guys want to see more of my finished artwork. This is more of my tutorial, tutorial, port, port, not portfolio. Tutorials are more so common on my YouTube along with the shorts and the process videos of the other drawings I do and paintings. But, um, let me know what you guys think of this exercise. I think it's very enjoyable, really fun. Um, I think it's really crucial for an artist to grow, especially a portrait artist, even landscape. Um, so you can recognize values. It's really important to draw in black and white, especially if you're gonna learn color and learn color theory because the, the basis of color theory lands in um, your recognition and ability to understand value, which is the relationships between light and dark in the piece. Super important. And those quick little sketches that are super fun to do. Um, get those feeling, those those crazy lines and um, almost careless mark making that, that kind of brings up drawing together is I think a beautiful thing. Um, it's a very hard thing to master and you can always continue to learn in that. I do every single day. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you guys found some value in watching this. Bye.